Hey everyone, I'm the Penny Pinching Prepper and welcome to my channel. For those of you who've been around for a while, good to see you back. For those of you who might be chiming in for the first time, hope I give you a reason to subscribe. So, today, or I shouldn't today, but I should say this week's project is going to be a fun, easy one, and it's going to be an alcohol stove. And I know what you guys are thinking. There's a hundred thousand videos out there with an alcohol stove, and you'd be right. And, you know, maybe you've already made one, and this video isn't for you. But the difference between my alcohol stove and, correct me if I'm wrong, but all the other alcohol stoves that I've seen out there, um, this one seals. Uh, you're able to store fluid inside of it. Um, if you don't use all the fluid, you're able to let it cool down, seal it up, and walk on off. And it's a DIY, and I got everything at the Dollar Tree, so it's a cheap project too. And some of them you might actually just have lying around your house. <clears throat> so it might even be cheaper. Leftovers. So this is it right here, and I, I, as you can see, I have it upside down just to prove the point that it doesn't leak that it does actually work and uh it not leaking has nothing to do with the fact that it has a uh, hose clamp around it that's because there will be a next week's project which is going to be um the making a, a a pot and uh it all being able to be together and, and nested and snug and nice and this makes it easier to open and close it um once you you nest it so if you decide to do it you might just leave it like this and call it good you might not even be interested in the rest of it <clears throat> but that's besides the point I'm getting off tangent so this is the stove all right and uh you have to make these two little little plates here and they just kind of come together like that, fit on over, and uh, right on the edge like that. And that gives you plenty of stability to put whatever you want on it. That's a full cup of tea there. Uh, so, plenty of stability, decent size. Since I have it up. And, uh, now this one isn't for those people that, you know, are looking for a alcohol stove to whip out and get going in a quickness and, you know, break down real fast and, you know, stop and go as fast as possible. This isn't for you. This is actually a, a kind of slow, slow, uh, slow start starting one, um, it's rather large and so it takes a little while for it to to warm up and actually start gasifying because it is a gasifier it's not just a a regular old um alcohol stove it is it is gasified and that that was the trick that was the hard part figuring out how to gasify it and seal it to where um it didn't leak <laughs> That was fun. I worked on it for a long time. So I'm going to let this go for a little bit and warm it up. And after it gets warmed, I'll, I'll bring in for a closer shot and show you how it gasifies. Um, I might speed up the, uh, um, the warming of it, but depends on how it goes. Um, so what you need for this project guys this is some steel wool all right i'm using double zero but as long as it's not super super coarse any steel wool will probably do i mean well actually any steel wool will do but the finer you can get it the better off you'll be um just i mean shoot at the dollar tree you might not be able to be picky um <laughs> they might only have one kind and that does not work for this project does not work with the uh the copper and stainless steel um, scrubbing pads, it doesn't work with that. It has to be steel wool. 
All right, another thing they carry at the Dollar Tree, all right, is just a, a bottle of the, the small portable, you know, airplane size shaving cream. All right, and then <clears throat> some sort of pan, and I uh, don't get the cheap disposable ones. I mean, I know everything at the Dollar Tree is cheap, but don't get the disposable ones. Get the ones that are meant to last a little long, you know, something that's got a little heft to it. And make sure that at least two sides have this, this lip or at least a rollover on it that they all don't look like these other two sides here, okay? And then what makes it all work, all right, and I'm not burning this fuel, but these uh, quick flame... Uh, twist ta uh, twist taps there for the inserts for those tiki torches, right? Uh, you got to get rid of the fuel, burn it up, whatever you want to do. Use it on something else, but don't use it in this. Wash it out and use the alcohol because this stuff is not that great. Now, I'm using 91 in this right now, and that's the other reason why it takes a little bit of time to warm up. Um, and the reason being is I want you to be able to see, you know, what it's doing. Um, I do recommend using the denatured and, or the, uh, the heat. I believe it's the red bottle. Don't quote me on the color, but you want to get the one that does not have the injector cleaner additive. Uh, that's, that's an important key part. <laughs> So, uh, basically with those, uh, four things right there, and hopefully you have it around the house by now, but some high temp, uh, JB Weld, um, you need a little teeny tiny bit of this, all right? And, uh, for tools, you're going to need something kind of like this. I found this at the Dollar Tree. It's, uh... It's um, some, some, something out of the arts and crafts. It kind of pokes and, and prods. And it's just a sharp needle, a uh, heavy-duty gauged needle for making holes. Um, uh, you could probably get away with using one of the, the push pins. But um, when I tried using the push pins, I can make the holes, but it seemed to dent it a little bit too much but um maybe you can sharpen it up and make do but that's up to you and then you'll need a drill some drill bits and a dremel with a cutting wheel okay uh other than that it's it's a pretty laid back simple little project um not that hard to do as long as you got a steady hand and i'm going to see about speeding this up real quick get it really going like i said it's a big container and it's full and you know how these things work you're supposed to get the alcohol boiling to the point where uh it starts vaporizing and working real well and actually gasifying So I'm going to take a quick second and heat this up just a little bit. Um, I think we're there. We're at least close enough. But, uh, so once it starts gas, or it starts heating up enough to where the gases inside um, are able to come up out through the holes and catch on fire. That's that's the way these gasifying ones work And it, it takes a while for the alcohol to heat up enough and boil To where it's really releasing the gas um, So this one is actually almost there. I heated it up enough to where it's starting. I can see it starting what I'm gonna do is go ahead and Take a second and turn the lights off, adjust the camera, and bring it down to where you can see it better and get back with you in one second. All right, guys. 
sorry that I might be funk, you know, kind of funky out of view, but as you can see, ooh, where's my finger going? There it is. As you can see, it started gasifying now. Flames kind of calmed down a little bit, so it's not so sporadic. It's working pretty decent now, and uh, as you'll see in a second, when you put a pot on, it actually works a lot better. And I'm not going to leave that pot on for long because it's empty. But you see how well those flames really started nicely gasifying. But, um, heats things up pretty darn decent. Um, I've only done two tests. One's been indoor and one's been outdoor. The out one, you know, right now, well, last night when I did it, it was 27 degrees outside, um, had about 12 mile an hour winds. I had two cups of water, um, in a tall can and it took about oh i think i think the timer went out somewhere around 16 minutes and that was from a cold start um and if you guys know anything about alcohol stoves they don't like the wind nor do they like the cold neither or so it did pretty decent in, in reality um I was pretty happy with it, even though it took that long, but under the conditions. But inside, I did one quart, and it took 12 minutes, and I didn't do that one from a, uh, a cold start. So four cups in 12 minutes. Uh, I just wanted to see if it was capable of doing something for a larger family, um, you know, like a, you know, me and my wife. Um, or if it was going to be able to actually bring something large to a boil, if you do have a family or something, I was just trying to do something more than the normal one or two cup test. Uh, and it, I was actually pretty impressed at how well it did. Um, so once again, real fast, Dollar Tree, one of those little Tiki torch inserts. A nice little, you know, thick two inch, um, no, three inch, four inch, it doesn't matter how thick it gets, but a definitely thicker than one inch. And uh, where it's got the right lips there that we talked about, the travel size Gillette shavings cream. It doesn't have to be Gillette, just get the shaving, uh, portable um, shaving cream. And uh, some steel wool. And don't forget your high temp JB Weld. Um, I'm hoping you guys have this around the house by now. So, hopefully, you find this to be a pretty cool idea. That the fact that you're able to go ahead and burn off and seal it up and leave fluid inside. That way, you know, you don't have to store too much um, outside uh, of the container um, for, you know, a couple, two, three day hike. Um, you can fill this up in another small container or maybe you can get away with just filling this up. Um, I, I honestly don't know. Uh, haven't been that far in the testing yet. But once I put this out, um, just like you saw in the beginning, I'll be able to screw it on and seal it up and call it good. Um, I'll be able to throw it in any backpack and not worry about it leaking um, or anything like that. So, like I said in the beginning, just another alcohol burner. The only difference is, is this one can be sealed. Uh, cheap, easy. And I uh, hope you liked the video. If you did, get down there and give me a thumbs up, guys. I'd really appreciate that. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. And uh, as far as putting it out, it's really not that hard. Um, it's really just as easy as snuffing it out. I mean, that quick. Um, don't, don't put it on and leave it. You want it to cool down. If not, um, it will compress uh, from you know, it cooling. Anybody knows anything about the ther thermal physics, oops, 
shouldn't have touched that again. Um, <laughs> well, in the burning spot anyways. Anybody who knows anything about thermal physics knows, you know, that uh, it'll crush a can if you seal it after it's been heated, especially if it's got a little something in it. Uh, anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm starting to bamble and look for words, so I'm going to get out of here. And, uh, guys, I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it unique that it's actually sealable. And remember, God's good and God bless and have a wonderful day, guys.